welcome to a Twin Lakes tutorial on how to change your wireless settings. Today we're going to talk about how to change the channel on your wireless, your SSID, and some security options within your router. First thing we need to do is open an internet browser. You can either open Google Chrome, Firefox, or Internet Explorer. Doesn't matter which one as long as you have one open. First thing we got to do is go up to your address bar and clear it out. Now this is where you want to enter in your IP address to access your router, so in most cases it's going to be 192.168.99.1 and you hit enter. It will bring, you, bring you into a login screen. Most of our service techs can just enter your credentials in and you'll be logging in just fine. If you're one of our customers, we're going to need you to log in with the username of user and then the password of access. So since I've already set this one up, I'm going to go ahead and log in and get it already started. So now it brings you to this page. This page is where it's going to show us where our router is and it's going to show us the computer that we are using to connect to the router. From here we want to go to the network setting tab and go to the wireless section. Once we're in the wireless section this is where we're able to change all the options I was talking about before. So you see under the wireless network setup the channel is set to auto. That's its default value. What we want to do is change this value to something whatever we want. Let's, in this case let's change it to channel 11. So once we have it changed in the drop-down box, we need to scroll all the way down to the bottom and click Apply. If you do not click Apply, it won't accept the actual setting change, and you'll have to keep uh, using the default auto. And once it's actually done loading, it'll bring us back to this page, and we can confirm that it has actually been changed to Channel 11. So here we can see that it has been changed to Channel 11, so it is no longer auto, it is Channel 11. So now we want to change our network ID, which is our SSID. Right now it's currently Twin Lakes. So an SSID, when you go down here and you click the little four bars, you see all the names of the different networks you can access through Wi-Fi. Ours is currently named Twin Lakes Internet, so this one right here is what we're actually giving a Wi-Fi signal off of. Now let's say we don't want that, and we can change it to something else. We can say it's uh, my house Wi-Fi. Just go into the text box and enter in. Make sure you spelled it correctly. And do the same thing we did with the channel. Just go down and click Apply. So it accepts the changes and it will actually change the SSID. And once we change the SSID, we'll look at it and then we'll go look down the bar and make sure it has actually changed in your network configuration. So once this actually loads for us, we'll scroll down. See, it has accepted that it is still on channel 11. It's using My House Wi-Fi as a name. If we go down here and click this and look, it's, it changed for us down in here. It says My House Wi-Fi. So, since we have a name for it, let's put some security on it. Most of them are going to start off with no security. Basically, what no security means is there's no password on it, there's no kind of encryption, anybody who's around you in, in range can use it. That's not good because if for security reasons, they can put viruses on your network and other bad things. We have an option where you can move the ball, just click the ball over to basic, and it'll put it on basic. Basic is an auto-generated password every time, so it'll generate this password right here. When you have somebody come over, you're going to have to come in here and look at this every time to give it to them so they can access your network. It's not usually recommended, but it's better than no security. What we do recommend is more security, so we'll just drag it over, and it allows us the flexibility of naming our own password. So for right now, our password is please change me because this is the default password given. So we'll just clear that out and add something, anything you want. We can do access, one, two, three, four. So we can change it to that. It's not going to be encrypted or anything, so you can see it, make sure it's spelled correctly. It is cap sensitive. And then once we do figure out what our, our final password is, we've got to go down and click apply to it for it to actually change the password from please change me to access 1234. So once this gets done loading, it will bring us back to our, our default web browser page for the basic wireless solutions. And then we can scroll down and make sure to see it's still channel 11, my house Wi-Fi. We can go down and look at the password. Password has changed from please change me to access 1234. So when you come down here and you click on it and you go down to uh, My House Wi-Fi, when I click you, it's going to prompt you for a password and you're going to have to enter this password in to get access to your Wi-Fi. And that concludes another Twin Lakes tutorial. I hope I've answered all your questions today. If not, please put them in the comment section below. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to see when we upload more videos. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.